All that recent storms and rivers have swollen rivers, putting stress on dams and levees as well. Our Leslie Aguilar is live this morning in Parkville. And Leslie, the Missouri River has crossed the banks into that park yet again. How high is the water out there? And right now the Missouri River is at a little bit more than 32 feet. Take a look. You see all these signs underwater out here in English Landing Park. 28 feet is considered moderate flooding. 35 is severe. This park has been underwater basically since March when that snow and snow melt flooded so many communities along the Missouri River. And this is devastating for this community because this park is such a huge part of Parkville's identity. It's a huge draw of people into town, which then of course brings people to Main Street here in Parkville to eat and shop. The flooding in the park hasn't threatened any structures just yet, but it's affecting business here in a kind of mixed way. Sometimes we get people that come here to Parkville just to see the flood. So we're getting a little bit more traffic. But I also get people that call and they say, um, is, the, is Parkville flooded? Can I get to the post office? So if people are calling and saying that, then you know there are other people out there that are just not coming to Parkville because they heard, they've heard it was flooded. So that takes away some business too. So, you know, if you add all that stuff together, we all just want our park back. <laughs> Now the business owners do tell me that they get nervous when that water starts to get close to the railroad tracks. That's when they start getting nervous about it actually going into their businesses. But luckily, the river levels are updated and forecasted daily by the National Weather Service, so they do always feel like they get fair warning. Reporting live in Parkville, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.